What's going on guys and welcome back to Rooted in Reptiles. In today's episode we're going to be going and showing you guys how to make a roach bin, um, which is the method that I use to keep my roaches. Um, some people keep in tanks, I choose to keep in uh, plastic bins. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a bin that you can buy at Walmart and we're going to turn it into a roach bin. I'll take you guys through and show you guys how to cut the holes in the top of the bin and how I do it and then what I do to cover those holes but still allow air to get into the tub and rotate through. So with, I hope you guys are having a good day. Stick with me here and we will get started with this project. Okay guys, so basically what I'm doing to cut the holes in this is I'm going to use this lid off of a cashew container. Um, and then I'll use this to make my circles and then I'll use a Dremel to then cut the circles out. Then I have plastic epoxy and some plastic mesh um, almost. So I'm gonna use that then to epoxy over the hole. But then two, what I do is I put two of these holes, one in each corner, one of one in opposite corners of one another, and then that will allow air to circulate from one corner through the bin to the other corner and it kind of draws the air through a little bit it seems. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll get this one all mapped out and start cutting it. then I have one in each corner. Now I'm going to cut them out. Okay guys, so all I have here is like the cheapest piece of crap Dremel that you can possibly buy. I've had this thing since I was a little kid and I've kept it um, and it comes in use for things like this. So basically I just have a little cutting disc for a Dremel on here, it's on a sanding wheel because the one that the, the discs are supposed to go on doesn't work. Um, so I've like rigged this up and this should work. So basically just take this and just cut the line um, and then you'll get your hole and then just clean the hole up and go from there. So we'll get started. first hole cut out. Um, it's painfully slow with this cheap Dremel. So for those of us, or for those of you who have more expensive Dremels, this will go much faster. But you can see I got a pretty good circle out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this second one cut out and then get the other lid done. And then I'll show you guys how I clean these up. And we will um, pick back up when I'm cleaning these. And then I'll show you guys how I'm taking and putting my mesh and attaching that to these. All right guys, so I got holes cut in both lids um, and now I'm gonna clean them up. All I'm gonna use is the Dremel again with a little uh, sanding tip for it. So basically just gonna go around the edges and clean all this, all these, all this roughness out of them. Um, I mean, I guess you wouldn't have to do this, but I'm kind of OCD, so. Um, it's just something I like to do to make them look a little bit better. So, as you can see, this isn't rocket science so far, and it won't be ever, so um, just bear with me. I'll get these cleaned up, and then we'll move on to getting the mesh cut and the uh, mesh put in and epoxied in. So, uh, just hang in here, and we'll be done shortly.
guys. So as you can see, I have these cleaned up now. Um, they're pretty well smooth and I think that for the minimal effort that's needed and the minimal amount of time it took me to do all four of these holes and clean them up, um, it just makes them look a lot better in my opinion. But again, you don't necessarily have to do that, but if you want, you certainly can and I did. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get this mesh and then I'll show you guys how I'm cutting that and getting that all ready and then I'll mix up some epoxy and we'll get these all set and ready to cure. So give me a minute here and I'll get that all set up and we'll go from there. All right guys, so for this next part, all you're gonna need is some of this mesh. I assume this is like for screen doors or screened in porches. So I'm sure you're able to buy this at like Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. But this is what I'm using, it's a plastic mesh. Um, you're gonna need a ruler, whatever you use to, um, to make your circles for your holes and a razor blade. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and measure the diameter of um, what it is that I use to cut the holes. So it looks like it's um, like four, we'll call it four and three eighths inches in diameter. So now that I know the diameter, I'm going to make a five by five or um, yeah, we'll call it a five by five square. So actually you're gonna want a pen too um, to make your marks, but basically I'm just gonna make. So there's my square that I'm gonna use as a guide to cut this mesh. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out. Now we have our guide to be able to cut the mesh. So then all I'm gonna do is lay this out here and cut four squares um, to cover the, each of the holes. didn't take long at all. Um, you have a, you're gonna have a ton of that left there so you can make a hundred thousand roach bins if you want. Um, but that's done now so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna clean these. Um, I'm gonna clean this with uh, just hot water I think, hot soapy water and then I'll rinse them all off. And then dry them and then I'll bring them back down and then we'll start epoxying these. Okay guys so we have our little pieces of mesh cut out and cleaned, and they fit perfectly. So now what we need to do is go ahead and get this epoxy mixed up. Um, you're going to want to mix this, uh, this plastic epoxy on something that you don't mind throwing away. Um, I'm using this Loctite plastic epoxy. So. you're not going to have long so I'm just going to take this and smear this all around the edge of these circles um, just again using this nail to do so Oh, I see. 
what you're gonna wanna do is let these sit and dry and cure, and then you're good to use the lids. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go through and put some tape on the tops of the inside of the bins. Again, just a precautionary measure. Some people use Vaseline. I prefer packaging tape because it's slick and uh, you can't smear it around like Vaseline. Um, Vaseline tends to make a mess, especially when it gets hot, it gets real liquidy and then it drips into the bins and it's just a mess. So um, I prefer packaging tape, but to each their own. So let's get spun around here and work on that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is uh, take this just basic packaging tape, it's heavy duty, um, and then we're just going to line the top of this bin with a row of it. Um, that way it's hopefully slicker than the bin is and they're unable to grab a hold of this. They, for some reason, were able to climb and got to this point. Okay, so it's that easy, you know. We got the whole top of it lined now, and uh, hopefully if they somehow make it up the sides of this bin, that will now stop them from being able to make it out. Uh, again, you, some people don't even worry about it. I would just rather play it safe than sorry and not risk anything happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one done. And then as far as the bins go, we're done. Um, once that lid cures, you can put it on top and uh, you're good to go. All right guys, so we are now done with the bins. Um, the tops are now cured and this bin is ready to use. Um, again, you're able to see that we got both holes cut, um, mesh epoxied in both. That way the nothing can get out. They're sealed with the plastic epoxy. And then on the inside of this bin, we have this tape, uh, packaging tape. You can't see it because it's a clear bin and it's clear tape, but it's there. Um, and then all you have to do now is add your roaches, egg crate, or whatever you want to use as far as um, something for them to hide and climb on goes, and food, and you're good. So the bin is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and um, I hope you guys found this helpful. So let me know in the comments section if you had any questions on uh, how I made this bin. Again, this is just a Sterilite um, 105 quart bin. It's something you can buy at uh, Walmart for maybe like $10. So this whole bin might have cost $12 with materials to put together. Nothing super expensive at all and you'll be able to use this forever and raise plenty and plenty of roaches in it to be able to feed whatever you have. So again, hope everyone enjoyed and I'll see you on our next episode. Thank you guys. Shh.